Hello, welcome back to Subnautica series for a new episode. And meanwhile, I was going back to my uh, base, okay? So I decided to not record that because it will take more time from this video. I was gathering a few more copper from this area here on the creep vine area that we already know, okay? In some of the previous episodes, I grabbed three copper and some more titanium. I just need more silver to make a wiring kits and such and I found this rack that I haven't uh, explored yet because there's a door in there that I can get in with a laser cutter which is weird because I thought I've seen everything on this area already <laughs> always missing something So in last episode I left my Seamoth back in the mountain islands and it's a very long way back home to where my base is that is in the floating islands so the Seamoth was in the mountain one and we are seeing here an abandoned PDA. The Gaza crew manifests. Integrating new PDA data. Search. Lost in space. The only dead to my child of Paul Turgal. Uh, yeah, it's talking about uh, some of the crew uh, of the Degazi ship. Stalker teeth, yes. Equipment, creature decoy. Already unlocked this recently. Exterior, exterior crew, but graph trap fragment I already got. When I get m a little more titanium, I will need about 30 for the Cyclops. Stasis rifle. Won't be getting more. Oh, I wanted to find some silver. Let's get through here. Okay, so that's it for the abandoned PDA. And nothing much more than that. That is really useful for me at the moment. I think I find silver on the sandstone outcrops and not on the limestone. If I'm not a mistake, I don't remember. <laughs> Been playing this for a while already and keep forgetting things. Anyway, we will eventually get more silver. I only got one unit on my base in one of the lockers. I hope this is silver. Nope. Something that I already have a lot. There is lead. Okay, I hope this is silver. Yay, one silver. So I'm able to make at least one wiring kit. A few more outcrops here. Yeah, silver. Let's just check this one. One more silver. Well, it's never enough. Yeah, silver. Great. So let's head back home quickly now. Great. I 
Oh, I need to turn this metal salvage into titanium. When it's done, now we need two more. But I may have enough titanium. Before anything, let's get back to the moon pool and see the sea mod storage. Yes. One more. I need the third one. And plastic ingot, so we will need two lithium. For each ingot, so means six lithium. Awesome, let's make the Cyclops. Just saving. I think putting the mobile vehicle away here will make the Cyclops spawning. In the we will see how it works. I already saved the game just in case I have to load the last save. I will and change the mobile vehicle by position and I still can't... oh the leads! I forgot the leads! <laughs> okay, Cyclops Must be constructed in Deeper deep water. water, okay In that case let's pack this up Inventory full Right, need to get rid of a couple of things Deeper water, maybe down here. <laughs> Can I put it here? And it just starts floating. How am I supposed to build that thing in deeper water if this bay will just start floating? I don't get it. Look at this. It just doesn't work, it just comes back here. Right, so it says to do this in deeper water. But the water is deep here. Maybe it's because of these island things. So let's get out of here. Like around here should be good. Try to deploy the vehicle bay here and make the Cyclops. Cannot build here. Must be constructed. <laughs> really? Is this not deep enough for you? Right, so it, it seems to be an issue with the, this mobile vehicle, but we are going to try to build the Cyclops in a different place from this one, alright?
to be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. I'm very experienced, okay? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna crash it the first time I'm gonna use it. So, I brought the Seamoth here. Let's pack this up. And here we go. Our brand new Cyclops. Awesome. Let's just take a look at it. Should I get in through the top? How do I get in? War Cyclops, okay, down here. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay. Oh, storage. This is great. A lot of storage. And a lot of creep vines on my way. Awesome. Upgrades. Plenty power cells. Decoy loading tube. Oh, this is for the um, animal decoy thing. The creature decoy. Okay. And this side, same thing. Great fabricator. Oh! Great. Docking bay thing. So you fabricate all these things in here. No vehicle dock. Oh, I can put here the Seamoth, which is awesome. Oh, the, the creep vines are like kind of crazy. I may have to cut them, you know. Cool. This should be fun. And basically this also works as a moon pool. No vehicle docked. Can I just go down? Nope. Only for the vehicles. Awesome. I need to get out of here. These creep vines are kind of taking over it. So, time to go, I think. Let's pilot this thing. Engine offline. Engine powering up. Torpedo rig for silent running. Rig for silent running. Oh, where is my home? There. So I can get my prawn suit with this cyclops so i can put it back maybe in the moon pool i don't know but this is really cool
It takes a while to get there, but maybe in the future we are able to give a boost to the engine or something so we can go faster. <laughs> I don't know, it's a big vehicle anyway. Uh, well, this is not a good idea to go. Uh, how do I go down? I hit flank. Emergency speed. Warning. Vessel calculated. A hit Excessive down. noise. A hit slow. I need to press the C key to go deeper and then the space key to go up. Try not to crash into these things here, okay? Home sweet home, we are back here and I'm sure I'm gonna collect a lot of resources with this thing. Uh, what's going on with this? Okay, yes. Can't be too closer to things. If I go up, it's what will happen, right? Yes. <laughs> it starts touching on things. I really can't forget that this is not as small as the Seamoth. So I will stay here. Thanks all for watching and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.